But Sean, how come you're not measuring with hundos anymore? So, because we're giving such sweet deals on wheels, all the hundos are in your pockets now. Hey guys, Sean again, Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on YouTube. Got another vehicle spotlight for you. It's 07 and a half, so that's a new body style of the Chevy Silverado, and it's a 1500 on three and a half inches, but we got 22 by 12s on 33 slammed in there. Let's go. Hey guys, like I said, we got this 07 and a half Chevy Silverado 1500. Now this one's got the three and a half inch uh, rough country level lift or suspension lift, some people call it. But basically what it is, is it's a leveling kit. So they put the spacer in here and then it's got also the under strut spacer, bringing up the front three and a half inches. And then they replace the factory block with a larger block so that basically you get leveled out. Plus you're bringing the rear up a little bit for that level. So you're kind of over leveling the front by, by an extra inch, and then you're bringing up the back end that extra inch so that you end up leveled. But a lot of times we call that as a level lift because it's just lifting up the ass end to the extent that you've lifted the front end. But it's not truly a lift kit, it's more of a, uh, a leveling kit for the front and rear. Um, we also have the Pro Ride kits that you can do the same thing. You can crank up that front adjustable, and then you can add the blocks to the rear and get that same level lift concept for if you do the front and back. So what he's got on this one is a three and a half, and then he did the 22 by 12. So it's a 22 by 12, and then it's a negative 44 offset on the Cali off-roads. And then he's got a 33, 12 and a half stretched on there, and this is a Turo Trailblade MT. And you can see, if you look at the sidewall junior, that the Aturos do run a little bit narrow. So even though this is a 12 wide um, wheel, the 12 and a half inch wide on a 22 it doesn't have a ton of sidewall. So you start to get that stretch look, which looks kind of cool, if, you know, if that's the look that you're going for. I personally kind of like that because it's just a different look than the huge meaty tires of the 80s and 90s. But if you look what he had to do, um, and this was not our trim job, um, not gonna get into details, but this is not one of ours. You can see that they did have to trim some of it out, move some of this back because it's a 12 wide on only three and a half with a 33. So typically this is where we would do that NorCal tuck. You'd fold this up, take that liner down, pull it back and tighten it up so that you cover up all of the sins that you've made. Um, but you can get this to fit. And then up front here, Junior, you can just see, just had to come off some of the valence. Some trucks will actually get into the bumper on this exact same setup where you'll have to also trim that chrome bumper and then you wanna make sure and go back and put clear coat where you trimmed it. It all depends on the truck because what happens is it's a thing called tolerance stack. As you start having different tolerances in the suspension, the same exact truck up the same assembly line, that, that whole front end can be shifted up just a tiny bit and that little bit is what causes it to hit when you go to crank the wheel. So of course it also has the trimming up front here. If you look at the inner liner, it's pretty much gone up to the bottom of the washer bottle. And sometimes you can get where you get a little bit of rub on the wash bottle, but most guys will just leave it rubbed just a little bit because it's it's at complete full crank. That's the only place it hits. So the rest of this truck, nope, Junior, you almost made me miss the lip test. You didn't give me a signal. We need to come up with a signal. So you can see the lip on that one. This is that Cali Off-Road busted again in the PVD chrome. So it's a powder coat chrome. And that's about, I would say four and a half four and a half inch lip. But this is that wheel that there's so much room between here, it's super easy to clean. And if you look at it, it makes it look like it gives the illusion that that whole thing is the lip because it just goes for days. There is no edge on this wheel. The whole barrel is smooth. So to me, it looks like a six, seven inch lip. When you look at the wheel, especially from, you know, a distance from back here, it just screams big fat lipped wheel. And again, that's a 12 wide negative 44. So if you look at the rest of the truck, He's got um, some halos installed in the headlights, switchbacks. You can see he's got the dual 50 inch bars curved up on top with the OLB brackets, the dual stack brackets. 
I've seen more and more people doing that, what he did with the dual stack. Rather than use the hardware and put this second one way up here, he actually just um, bolted right in, put the light bar a little bit behind the front one. So you lose a little bit of light, but it actually creates a much cleaner look because it runs right down with the windshield, especially with the radius bars. I think it's a cool idea. I actually almost prefer it like this. I've seen some guys will even um, keep modifying it. They'll even move this bar back here and then they'll round that bracket off or take that bracket off, clean it up and then repowder it or whatever. Just kind of pulls it back into the windshield versus having it out and about. Um, bull bar, 20 inch light bar up on the front of that. You can see his emblem got crazy. Digging it. Fender flares, so these are the pocket cell flares. So if you look down the side of this truck, you're gonna see that even with those 12 wides, a pocket style flare, you're gonna be about flush. So I would call that almost perfectly flush, maybe sticking out half an inch tops. What do you think, Junior? Flush, half an inch? Pretty flush. Flush? That's what I would call it. Toolbox aftermarket tail lights. It's got a train horn. Make a lot of noise, scare the girls. It's got the backup lights. Big fan of those, especially when you have them and you need them. And then limo tint on the back, so I don't know if that's like two, three, four, five percent. Matched up front, which would be 20%. And then the windshield is the whole thing's done in 50%. It looks like he's got a 5% brow up top as well. And as you can see, this thing is Vortec to the max. It's got maximum Vortecing. So that is a Silverado 1500. Again, it's another three and a half inch level lifted, 12 wide on 33s. Um, we told you guys you could do it. It's just a matter of doing a little bit of trimming and making it fit. Um, like I said, there's cleaner ways to do that. And if you want to check some of our videos, just look up our NorCal mods. And we'll show you exactly how we do that. Make sure you guys are subscribing. We've got lots and lots and lots of spotlights still coming. YouTube.com slash custom offsets. Peace.